Good afternoon guys. It's about quarter past one. Um, and I'm here. It's completely natural late. Right? As you can see the lily pads are just starting to come up. Right, but I'm gonna try something completely different today. It's a natural venue and the only bait I've brought with me for this afternoon is I brought some paste right and some expanders and some micros that I prepared yesterday I've got a few huckable squidgets um, they were from evolved I had them in my garage and uh, all right, and um, so we'll um, see how we get on. It'll be interesting to see if we can catch on a natural venue on like baits that we would associate with a commercial. So, be a very interesting session. See if we catch. I, I might completely blow out, or I might catch. But until you try, you don't know. So I thought I'd film it for you anyway, and let's see how we get on. Um, all right, and what I'll do is I'll show you my rigs in a minute, but before I do that, I want to really thank everybody who's watching this videos and who's subscribing. It really means a lot, guys, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, for, thanks so much, okay? Right, I'll talk to you in a bit and show you my rigs. Okay, guys. Right, I'm just gonna show you my rigs guys it's like a little margin float and it's 0.3 it's on 0.17 main line down to a 0.15 hook length to a size 16 guru hook as you can see they're just above me hook length I've just got four number Eight. This rig is for down the side. Just what I've done is I've plumbed up from the side, and just where it drops off a little bit, that's at the bottom of that because I think big fish patrol that sometimes. And then I've also got a rig, I found a little clear spot in between them lilies that are just coming up down there, so I'll use that rig for both of those. Um, um, and this one, yeah, I've got paste float. Right, paste floats really need to be like slim, like that. I've got. No shots down the bottom and that's down to a size 12 but that is don't mess about when I'm fishing paste right and that's tied direct I don't want any weak points in my hook and, and what I've got is a big pot on that And the elastics on both rigs. This is the MIDI reactor core. It's the size oh, 14, might be 14 to 18 that I think. I'm, I can't remember to be honest off the top of my head. But I'm going to kick off. Each swim just by putting a few micros in like that. And just a few expanders. Right. I have flavoured all these pellets in the uh, Bonoffi soak from Sony Bay.
that joint on my pole, I'm using that as my distance marker and then I've got a marker on the other side. Same down that side, but that's the full length. I'm not fishing a great distance, but down the edge, I think that's about 10 meters. There we go, that's about 10 meters. Eh? because it's it's only a shallow lake I'm gonna really over wet this and put some microphones in it and this is gonna be the paste line so I've over wetted some paste to basically pour in So that's me three lines fed. They say it's a place that you normally fish on conventional baits like worm, caster, and pinky and maggot. So it'll be interesting to see if we go out. So anyway guys, I'll talk to you soon once I've been fishing a bit and let you know how I'm getting on. Okay. There we go guys, two and a half hours, that's my first bite on paste. <laughs> on paste, look guys, a lovely tent. That one, Dave. Yeah. I'm faced that. Oh. Just buried it, then. Oh. Well, it just shows you, doesn't it? 
that battery is about to run out so I'll change that battery guys but that's all right you see it's a difficult venue anyway so let's see if we can go another one in a bit what a lovely taste that is shows you because when I got here there was two guys fishing to me right and they've not had it for and everything and there's three other guys from over there and one to me left and none of them yeah. them said anything so it just showed yeah. me right, I'll just rest that by in a minute No, no more is yet, guys. Been fishing for three hours now. Coming into the half, last half hour now, guys. Been really hard, like I knew it would. In fact, there's been eight other anglers around me while I've been here. And none of them, none of them's had anything. So there we go. There we go. Got another one. Here we go, look. That's a lovely tent, what nice colours. That's why you need that heavy elastic on as well when you're fishing pace. Here we go up. <laughs> what a lovely fish. Oh, 
like that. All you do, look, just pop that in there. I always fish my face quite soft. So that the fish just suck it in. Here we go guys. One's angry. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Three of them now, all on paste. And we'll call that, we'll call that the last fish. Yeah. He wants feeding, look, he knows I'm packing up this one. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, on, mate. Hey, on. You wear them pellets. You're all right. Got them on there. Go on them. Go on. Have them in there. Well, guys. Just shows you. Paste isn't just for. <coughs> um. Paste isn't just for um, commercials. This is a completely natural lake, and uh, as you can see, I have had three lovely tents, um, all on paste. I did put a pellet line in as well, trying to try to get one on pellet as well. I had a bite on pellet, uh, but I've had 
three sail away bites and three lovely tanks about four pound a piece so that's just shows you don't it so if you've got a local lake near you that's got tension and bring give pace to go you never know you might be surprised right I'm the only one that's caught out today there's been eight, eight of us fishing there has throughout the afternoon and none of them's had anything so it just shows you if you just persevere right with a method you can still catch a few fish all right then okay guys bye for now thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and as always enjoy your fishing because i have <laughs> all right bye for now take care